welcome back to CGTV, and more specifically, welcome back to the A46. I'm currently on my way to Coventry for very good reason. Uh, Mahmood and myself decided we would go to get some essentials and get some other bits and bobs, maybe some Easter related items. Uh, and in the interest of saving the environment, we thought we would do it in a full electric car. This is only a hybrid, there's a petrol element of it. So we thought, what better way and what greener way to go and get some items from the shop than drive two hours up the motorway in a Range Rover to go and do it in a full electric car. Makes perfect sense, don't you agree? Yep. He's working, he's literally got a full office going on here, so I'm actually just distracting him. Thanks for being my chauffeur. No, no, no worries at all. I actually got him a coffee on the way up here as well. You've had a, you've had a lovely morning, haven't you? So we're off to Citroen HQ. We're going to pick up the Citroen Ami. Now, some of you will know what this car is, and many of you will not know what this car is because it's not been heavily kind of uh, touted in the UK, has it? No. It's not everywhere. Not yet, anyway. This car is probably the most chaotic thing I've seen on four wheels for a long, long time. So we're gonna go and jump in it. We're gonna go and get some good goods. Uh, and we're gonna take it shopping. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see if I can drive it around inside. Do you reckon anyone will allow me to do that? Let's see, find out. <laughs> yeah, I think it's almost like the modern equivalent of the Peel P50. Do you remember uh, Clarkson drove around the BBC yeah. building? So we'll see if we can get it into Sainsbury's or uh, similar supermarkets. Without further waffle, let's get to Citroen HQ. Let's get this video underway. So then you join me at PSA HQ here in Coventry and I have something very exciting in front of, what is that on the lens? That is hell, I've spat on it. This is the home of Citroen and Peugeot as well. Lots of cool stuff in the car park. If we've got time, we'll get onto that, but something very, very cool in front of me. And the thing we have come to see, and I say thing, because it's not really a car, it's more of a quadricycle. It is the Citroen Ami. This is the car we have come to see and drive around. We're gonna take it to the supermarket, and I actually, Mahmood, I'm feeling a little bit peckish. Yeah, I think, should we drive through? Let's see, let's see how we survive. But this is a very interesting car. I'm gonna go around and show you some details because this is unlike anything I've ever seen or driven before. And I presume it's probably unlike anything you guys have ever seen and driven before either. So, loads of cool little features on this car. It is not available yet in the UK market, but there is strong, strong rumors that it may well be. And I will leave the register your interest link below to go and register your interest. It takes two seconds, um, but please go and sign that and get these in the UK because this is havoc. So, right, you may be forgiven thinking, which is the front of the car? They're actually the same. Front and back are exactly the same. The only way of knowing is looking inside where the steering wheel is. That is for very good reason. The body panels are the same front and back. That is to keep costs down and make sure that stockists of parts only need one type of front or back end. Very clever. The other thing they've done as well, the doors are exactly the same. So that means on this side, the passenger side, it opens normally, as you can see. Left hand drive for now. And if they come to the UK, they're likely to be left hand drive. So do bear that in mind, although not an issue given the size of it. And on the driver's side, you've actually got a suicide door, or so-called, it's closing with the wind. But that is so, there is only one part, one door part, both doors are the same. Again, keeping costs down, absolutely ridiculous. There are various packs you can get with it. The orange uh, accents here are an optional upgrade. You can also get a pack that puts a big spoiler on, which I like the sound of, and you can also get a Miami Vibe pack as well. All of those options will be available on the Citroen site to go and have a look at. It is available in France right now to buy, hence the French plates. They all come in this blue color, and these panels are kind of um, plastic. As you can imagine around Paris, these things get shunted willy-nilly, and you don't want something made of a uh, super high carbon blah blah that costs a million pounds to repair and is unobtainable. So these things are built to be, well, not built to be shunted. They you know, not encourage you to actually crash them, but should you crash it, it's not going to break the bank. Inside then, quite a rudimental affair, as you would expect. Perfect for crisps. He's gonna be unlikely to uh, ruin anything in here, but it's got everything you need. You've got a little fan heater here, you've got your USB, you've got your smartphone holder, 
You've got a horn over there, which I've been told is absolute chaos. So we're going to get that. And the seats as well, which are probably more comfortable than Lamborghini carbon fixed buckets. They look pretty much uh, indestructible crisp-wise as well. He could have a series of accidents in here and you'd be absolutely fine. Again, you've got the orange accents inside. That is an optional upgrade, but everything pretty much comes out. It's hell, absolute hell. So list price for this car then, 6,000 euros in France. And if it comes over to the UK, it'll be probably slightly, slightly more expensive. And that's for the base model. It ranges up to about 7,000 euros if you want the uh, Miami Vibe pack or the one with the spoiler and whatnot. Um, but that is the base, base price. It is, of course, 100% electric. Range on this car is 43 miles. Top speed is 28 miles an hour. And that has come with a warning from the guys here. They said, stay off the motorway and stay off the dual carriageways. The power of the car and the speed of the car means that in France, you can actually drive these around as a 14 year old. But in the UK, if they come over here, you'll be pleased to hear and relieved to hear that you'll need a full driving license to bat around in one of these. I can see myself on the King's Road, batting around in one of these with crisps hanging out the window, barking at people. Absolutely perfect. I'm thinking maybe even like a Gucci wrap or something like that. Anyway, should we get going? Should we go for a little drive? Do you know Coventry? Do you know where the motorways and dual carriageways are? Okay, well this is gonna go well then. I think it's actually illegal to end up on the motorway on one of these. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And dual carriageway as well. Yeah, is it illegal dual carriageway or just not advised? Both, illegal both. Illegal both, okay, well we'll try and dodge them then on the way to, uh, on the way to McDonald's. And then we'll go to Astra as well. And we'll see what the general public make of it as well. If we see any females, can you ask them what they make of it? Is that all right? Or are you gonna get attacked with your girlfriend? Yeah, that's what I'll do, it's work. Right? If, yeah, it's work. Don't okay. No, don't text her. If you, if you ask, you get told no. If you just do it anyway, then she might not see. Yeah. In you go then. The windows then, in here. You okay, mate? Yeah, I can't open it. You're being silly. You got a little push button there? I don't know. Oh, goodness sakes. In you come. There you go, you can show off how they open the door. Yeah, you've got door flaps akin to a GT3 or GT3 RS. The windows as well are on these kind of really cool push down things. But so you, open, you, you push it down and then and it kind of flaps open like the Citroen 2CV. My mum actually had one of them, they were hell. Um, but the window flaps open like that, very cool. We're going to keep that shut anyway. It's quite a, quite a brisk day. Good leg space. Good leg room, good leg room actually. Very good indeed. The other thing to know, of course, it is just one gear. You wouldn't expect any gears anyway, to be honest with you. So we'll do that. Foot on the brake. One turn. Lovely stuff. It's in kilometers, by the way. So I said range earlier was 43 miles. On a cold day, that's probably realistically slightly less. And then we turn it again. We get a beep and it says ready and neutral. Down by my left leg is where you'll find uh, pretty much the gearbox. So we'll put it in drive. And that's literally it, and you're ready to go. Havoc, do you feel safe? No. Actually, not to be honest, yeah, I'll be, yeah. It's not bad, we literally sat over the back axle here, yeah. and you've got the sun, that's actually really cool. Yeah. Panoramic roof, really, really cool. I don't know if you've got, have we got a radio in here? No. no. Have we got a radio? No, we've got a USB slot. Put some beats on, boy. I can see a customizing scene for these, I really can. Nice little hi-fi in here, lovely stuff. Anyway, let's get going, and put a GoPro in. I'll go for a drive for it and see what happens. Right then, let's go. We've got a normal handbrake as well, which is really cool. Very car-like. It's a very weird sensation. Now the guys here have told me it's quite like a visceral experience. It's quite raw. You can feel and hear everything going on. Oh, this is hell. <laughs> this is absolute chaos. You can't help but grin when you see this thing. When you see it and drive it, you can't help but smile. And that's what everyone's been saying. Where are we going? Around. I was going to say you can no, I'm not driving over the pavement. We're not, <laughs> not yet. We're only a few minutes in. It is quite rudimental in here. I am grinning. Underneath this mask, there is a big, big grin. I oh, know we can't get out that way. Chaos! <laughs> if this thing isn't on its roof, by the end of this video. Go that way. This is no injury. Two of them, and one says stop. <laughs> Are we lost already? <laughs> start. Oh yeah! It was not the other side to go out. Oh, for God's sake. No, we can go around there, no? Okay, let's Are we? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Sure. Let's Literally <laughs> disrupting everyone in there. <laughs> Hello! Nothing to see. Do you think they're regretting lending us this yet? <laughs> no, no. But it's really cool. These are the only two in the UK. 
Um, I think they've been into London once, very briefly, and uh, that was yeah. that. You just have to beep. Oh, that guy, see? He's like, you went the wrong way. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing there? <laughs> He's calming up. Okay, well, I think he's coming, I think. Is he? Yeah. yeah oh, he's, he's had enough. Yeah. He's absolutely <laughs> had enough of us. I had one job and that was just go out on the right bloody... <laughs> right gate! Oh, he's had enough of us. Mind your toes, everyone. Go and have a load of fun, guys. See when you Thank you. Thanks Let me know if you want anything from McDonald's. Oh, right. I'm being serious. Do you want to take my number just in case there's a problem? Yeah, I will take you. That's a good shout. Good idea. Just in case yeah, something sure. like you have a puncher or something yeah. or something yeah. you get hit up the snozzle pot. You never know what can happen. Put it on its roof. There you go. We're off. Right. Oh. Drive through time. Where are we going? Um, yes, Ray. Hopefully it's the right, hopefully it's the right one. And we don't know. Chaos! <laughs> Power! Left. Left. Left, left. Left hand down. <laughs> left. You okay there? Yeah, I was loving it. I'm carrying the horns, <laughs> hell. <laughs> Chaos! Chaos! <laughs> Hello! Hello! They're waving back! If you did that like in a Range Rover in London, they would drop. attack you. <laughs> they're here, they're waving back. They're, they're pleased to see us. There's air coming through the door. I don't know, that's... <laughs> this is hilarious. Have we got traffic building up behind us? Shouldn't do, because it's a 30 zone, so that's on you for speeding. <laughs> yeah. You sure we're not going to... There's dual carriageways up here, you sure? That's an A-road. <laughs> that's an A-road, you prat. Let me go. Wait, you can go on that, can't you? An A road? No, I don't think we can. Oh, well, there's Asda there. Where's McDonald's? I'll put McDonald's. Oh, I know we're allowed on there. Yeah, we can go on there. What's an A road? Isn't it A road dual carriageway? Just to be honest, mate. Uh, I don't know, the guy was from Citrus when he called calling me. <laughs> Should I answer it? So, I'll answer it. And I'll tell you where to go. Oh, no. I don't think we're allowed on this road. Right? No. no. This is a this is a 40. <laughs> Sorry! But the other one was wait. <laughs> They're going as fast as we can! No, there's a speed camera and I can go flat through it. It's oh fine. My god. Oh my god. Don't worry, we're nearly there. Are we? Only five minutes to go. <laughs> we come off soon. <laughs> no, this isn't a dual car. So we're okay. It was two lanes, I'm pretty sure that's a dual yeah. Oh okay. You did your driving theory test I mean, more recently than me. I mean, who remembers that? <laughs> I did it in 1942. Great. This is hell. So have you had your vaccine yet? I haven't had my vaccine oh, yet, no. Okay. I'm on the list though. <laughs> Sorry. So, oh my God. Oh my, actually. Whoa, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> what, what have they got on the menu? We need to keep to the eco theme and not cause any uh, undue suffering or harm to animals. Uh, fruit pack. I'm not ordering a fruit pack. Nobody in their right mind does that at McDonald's. They put you on some sort of like watch list. <laughs> yeah. You order a fruit pack at McDonald's. This is good. I can imagine myself batting around London in one of well, these. Well, that's perfect, especially with the traffic and everything. I told the guys this interesting. I've said, look, when these come to the UK, I'm going to buy one. It's great. This is what it's all about, though. This is the fun of like motoring. And it's what a lot of electric cars haven't managed. Chaos. They haven't managed to make cars fun, and this is hilarious. The range of 43 miles, I mean, it's more than I thought it would be. Yeah. My Range Rover in full electric mode has got 30 miles of range, so this is better than the Range Rover. There we go. Bombshell. Okay, straight on here. Yeah, that's right. How far away is this? Oh my god. Like one mile? So hopefully we can, <laughs> we, we can survive one mile, can't we? We've got 68 kilometers of range. That's right. Hello! I just want to preface something as well. On my GoPro, if you've noticed there's a smudge on there, it's not a bogey. I actually dropped the GoPro in the car park and I've uh, chipped the lens. So if you're wondering why it's uh, even worse quality than usual, that's what's happened. It's right. It's All right. It's left. I have a professional on this channel. You do get some looks in this. People are pleased to see you. How are you finding the seats? That's all right, right? It's good. It feels like I've... it's adjusting my posture. Yeah. I mean, it's okay for like short journeys, right? Which is class four, I guess. Do you think any of these people want any of the horn? Yeah, I think he wants that. Do you want 
you reckon? Yeah. I don't know, I'm not sure, let's oh. find out. <laughs> He's not the sort of person you want to wind up that No, he will literally chase you. <laughs> He'll probably catch us as well. <laughs> yeah. That's what you should do, you're running against the car. Neither of us, <laughs> neither of us are very athletic. <laughs> I think that might be the death of one of us. Yeah. It pulls strong though, like on an uphill and stuff, there's no, you don't feel it struggling, it just yeah. kind of surges. There's more than enough power there. Perfect oh. for this. Order time, are we at the window? Hello. No, is that the order? No. Oh, we have to follow up. Oh. Who well, is order? Hello. Oh, no, I think so. uh, it says hi there. We'll be right with you. Ah. You got a wedgie, spicy wedgie wrap. Hi, can I take your order, please? Hi. Hello. Hi, can I take your order? Yeah, can I get one spicy wedgie one, please? Sorry. One spicy wedgie wrap. As a meal or on its own? Um, just on its own, please. Yep. Oh, can I have one as well? And make, can you make that two, please? Yeah. Anything else? Um, can I get some chips, please? Medium chips. Yeah. Thank you so much. Actually, can, can you make that two? Can you make that two chips, please? Yeah. I'll copy you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Every time I've done a drive-through video, yeah. there's been someone behind that has been exorbitantly aggressive. Hey, he's fine, that guy. Yeah. He's fine, isn't he? He's happy. He's chilling. <laughs> Mate, behind in the focus as hell. Oh. Top tip for you all if you're going to a drive through, don't go through behind a YouTuber. <laughs> They'll take too long. Go in the other lane. We panicked with that order. That was a terrible order. That was. The veggie wrapped vegan, though, I think. Yeah, that's the only one I could see, you know? Perfect. Saving the environment. Yeah. That's the... Are the chips cooked in like animal death or are they alright? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Hello. The window's too low. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Much appreciated. There you go. Perfect. Okay. I've got the food. See you later. Oh man. <laughs> wait. Wait for me. <laughs> I think I've lost him. Perfect. He paid for the food as well. I win. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's got me. Get in. Get in. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm good. Thought you could. I, th I thought you could do with a run. You know, yeah, everyone's been locked down. A bit of exercise. Yeah, cheers for that. Apologies. Uh, so McDonald's is done. We now go to what? What are we gonna do? We're gonna go to Asda and go and stare at people in the car park. How's the time then? I wonder how this is gonna go down. So I've sent Mahmood out for him to film public's reactions to this car. Nothing to see, just a YouTuber. YouTube, YouTube. Just doing some filming on 220,000 subs. I, I can see some people over there. Some people in a Fiat 500. Let's go and see what Let's they go. think of it. Let's go film their faces. <laughs> They were like, what's going on? Good. <laughs> hey, 
How's that going? Are people pleased to see me? Yeah, I think so. I think they're shocked. Shocked? <laughs> in, a, in a positive way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people smiling and stuff. What, do, that... what, what do you think of this car? Uh, it's really cool, man. Yeah. You like yeah, it? Yeah, it's yeah, good. Really nice, yeah. <laughs> see? Is it all, is... all electric? Yeah, it's fully electric. It's really nice, yeah. yeah it's got a Citroen Ami. Just a little city car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It pulls three miles of range, 20, 28 miles an hour top speeds. Yeah, so just for kind of pooping around and uh, winding people up and that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just making a YouTube video. Not oh, very good oh, one yeah. either. Well, I'll take a picture, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Cool. I'll send you an invoice to the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Great, thank you. Nice to meet you. Right, you can hop back in now. I think our social experiment's concluded, Mahmood. Or maybe I'll just, I'll just leave you. Oh, man, not again. <laughs> I think a job well done. I don't know about you, but I think a job well done there, Mahmood. Yep. I think we've done we've done wonders for electric car public relations. I think we've done wonders for the uh, the marketing of the Citroen Ami. And overall, though, this thing gets smiles. Whether or not you're sat in here or you see it drive past, or you see it parked up, everyone loves it. Yeah, I mean, what's not to love, right? So I was being a complete wally, and if you did that in a in another brand of hatchback, just a normal car, you'd have been thrown out by now. But people enjoy it. It's great. I think that's that then. On that positive note, turn the indicator off. Thank you very much for watching. Do as I say, check out the link below. And this isn't sponsored, I'm not being paid to do this. I, I just saw this on their fleet and I was like, I have to come and try this out. Do hit the link below and register your interest in the Citroen Ami because if enough people do it, this thing will be launched in the UK formally with all its different spec types. And I will add one of these to my garage. So. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, blah, blah, blah. A huge thank you to PSA. And I'll see you all very soon. Any final words? No, let's get one. Let's get one, hey!